Salut à tous, donc je suis ici au Tristar pour une nouvelle interview, ici en compagnie du combattant UFC Tom Breeze. Thank you very much Tom for this uh, interview. No problem, thanks for having me. So Tom, uh, you are still undefeated at the UFC and you're in your MMA career, you are 10 and 0. Uh, you, you, you are 24 years old, uh, just to, to tell again uh, to uh, our uh, readers of Globe MMA. Um, you won your last fight, it was in uh, last February, it was in London. You, you won against the, the Japanese fighter Keita Nakamura. Uh, it was by a uh, unanimous decision. Um, at the end of the fight and after, uh, when I listened to, to some interviews, I remember that you weren't so much satisfied with this victory. Uh, it, it was the case or can you tell us about what happened and uh, what's your feeling about this fight? Yeah, you know, um, I wasn't satisfied, you know, I want to I wanna be more dominant in my performances and I, I didn't feel like I was my, my normal dominant self. Um, but Nakamura is a great fighter and a, a great opponent, you know, he gave me a, a great challenge and I learned many lessons from the fight. Yeah, did you expect to, uh, to have a, a tough opponent uh, like Nakamura? I knew he was going to be tough, you know, he's experienced, he's, he's won a lot of fights and, you know, he was a champion in uh, Sengoku, Japan. So, um, I think w what surprised me was he fought completely differently to what he's ever fought before, you know, so he's, he's a very smart fighter and he came in with a good game plan. All right, so did you make some uh, adjustments in your training and your, in your preparation after this fight? Absolutely, you know, I learned a lot of lessons from the, from the fight, I grew as a fighter. Um, you know, I've been, been training more kickboxing, uh, still, still training a lot of boxing and, you know, just, just improving my all-round all game. All right, so your next challenge will be at UFC 199. It will be in Los Angeles, uh, June 4th, and you will fight uh, this American fighter, Sean Strickland, who uh, just uh, came back from a victory against your teammate, Alex Garcia. It was a victory at the third round by uh, KO. Uh, so um, Strickland uh, has only one loss in his uh, record. I think he's uh, 17 and one. Uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit about this fighter? Um, you know he's got a great record. Um, he's four and one in the UFC. Uh, he used to fight at middleweight, so you know he's, he's going to be a great challenge. He, he seems to be a, a good athlete, and as you say, you know he he beat my teammate, so it's, it's going to be a great challenge. But I'm I'm very confident coming into this fight. I think I offer uh, a completely different fight stylistically, and I feel I'm more dangerous than Sean Strickland. And uh, did Alex uh, ge uh, give you some advices, you know, uh, regarding uh, the, fight, the, the fact that he fought uh, him already? Yeah, you know, Alex gave me some, um, you know, some advice and, and what he felt in there. But, you know, I'm going to, I'm not, I don't really like to look in that too much. You know, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to react to everything. And, um, you know, I train hard and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight my fight. So I don't remember if I already asked you uh, this question, but... How many times a week do you train uh, here at TriStar? Uh, six days a week, uh, twice a day, most days. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's a lot of training. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I want to be in the gym once. I love, I love being in the gym, you know, I love learning, so I'm always in the gym trying to improve. And you stay here uh, at the dorms, so you are uh, full time here uh, at TriStar? I used to be in the dorms. I moved into an apartment now, but I live around the corner from TriStar, so, you know, I'm full time here all the time. I saw also that uh, you, you, you do some uh, travels to uh, New York to train at Renzo Gracie Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go to, I'm going back to New York in uh, just over a week. I like to train with John Danaher and his students there, Gordon Ryan, Eddie Cummings, Gary Tonin. You know, it's, it's a huge help for my training. It proves my jiu-jitsu game so much along with training with Ferraz and the guys here. And uh, one word about uh, Gordon Ryan, uh, who just won uh, the EBI uh, a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, he done great. You know, I, I was confident with him going into there. You know, him or Gary would win. Uh, but Gordon, you know, he did the job, and you know, I think he showed he's one of the best grapplers in the world now. Did he tell you if uh, he one day he will uh, make a move uh, to MMA? Yeah, he, he said that. You know, that's in his plans. You know, in the future, once he's accomplished what he wants to accomplish in in jiu jitsu, he wants to fight MMA and. He's going to do very well in MMA as well, I'm confident of that. Tom, we can't wait to see your fight against uh, Sean Strickland. So uh, all the best for, your, for the end of your preparation here at TriStar and thank you again for this interview. Thanks a lot, thanks for having me.